I'm struggling. Hi, it's Scholar and welcome back to my channel. If you're struggling too, then that's okay. I'm actually not that sad. Seems like I was super sad for a second there, but I just wanted to show that side because I feel like we always want to show up as our best selves and it's okay to show up as you are. So I really wanted to sit down and talk about this because I've been struggling recently and I have felt very lost, very stagnant. I didn't know what was going on, guys. I was like, who am I? What do I want from life? What is life? I went very, very, very deep. <laughs> um, I'm feeling a lot better now, which is why I'm sitting here in front of you with a little smile on my face, a little cheeky smile on my face. That's how you know she's doing all right. But do you know what? I do have my days. I do have my days. Sometimes it can be weeks, months, years. It can be a lot. But before I get into my little rant slash pep talk, if you like my energy, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell button, guys, okay? You might as well do it. So one thing I've noticed is that a lot of people don't have grace for people's human tendencies. It's really bizarre that sometimes when you see somebody struggling with something, if you happen to find that particular thing easy or you've never struggled with it, it's never been a problem for you, you just automatically assume that person is not trying hard enough, that they're not working hard enough, like there's something that they're doing wrong. Instead of just being like, do you know what? I'm gonna come to you with unconditional love, no judgment, and I'm just gonna accept that this is your journey and this is what you're going through. But what I've realized is that sometimes this criticism, this judgment that we can get from other people for not being our best selves actually comes from a lot of internal internal turmoil i don't even know what words to use but i think it comes from actually just people not having enough love for themselves we talk about self-love a lot and i realize that sometimes when we talk about self-love it feels very conditional it's like okay i will love myself but only if I get my work done today, only if I'm productive, only if I make my bed in the morning, only if I lose that weight, only if I have the abs, only if I get the best grades, if I get that job, then I'll love myself. But when you're in bed, you're super depressed, you're super upset, you're at your worst, you refuse to go and work out, you didn't get that job, then you're basically shitting on yourself and you're like, I'm terrible, I'm the worst person. And it's such a shame that we feel like that and I feel like I've suddenly had that realization about self-love. I feel like I've been talking about self-love for the longest time here on my channel, especially when in regards to loving your body as it is and yourself, but I feel like I have been guilty of only loving my body when it is working right. Like if my body is doing everything I want it to, then I'm like, oh yeah, I love myself, yeah, 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 yeah. But for example, recently I've had a little knee problem. I'm still struggling with my weight. Um, and even saying that, it's like, do you know what? Why, why, isn't it, why is it even a thing? Why should it even be a thing when I should just show love for myself and be like, do you know what? There are these things going on, but I still love myself. One thing I noticed that I stopped doing that really was so detrimental to me not feeling that unconditional love for myself is that I wasn't celebrating myself. I wasn't celebrating the small wins. I wasn't celebrating the big wins. I was just like, whatever, because I was too busy looking at others and what others had achieved. And I was like, it's nothing. I still got more to go. I still got more to do, but if there's anything you take away from this video, please just take the time to celebrate your small wins. For example, I'm gonna start celebrating if I cook a really good meal. I'm not always the best cook, so if I cook something good, then that is an achievement. Every day that we get through the day is honestly such a big achievement and it it, it doesn't seem like it, but you, it's magic really, just being here. What are the odds? that we're, we're here or we're sitting here. Oh, it's so magical. When you really think about it, you're like, oh my goodness, like I'm like one in seven billion. Isn't that mental? Like that's, that's magic. That has to be magic. 
Okay, sorry, I feel like I'm going off on random tangents. I didn't really plan this. I just wanted to sit down and talk about the idea of struggling and the idea of struggling in front of people and being open about that. Because that's another thing that I feel like a lot of us just don't do enough of. We just want to pretend that we're doing okay when we're not. And so it seems super bizarre when people aren't doing okay because everyone is so busy pretending that everything is fine that if someone decides to be human and show that they're not okay then there's so much judgment there and that sucks and I just wish that we were all way less judgy of each other. Here on my channel we often talk about health and fitness and so if you're struggling with getting up and working out, if you're struggling with losing weight, getting fit or gaining weight, whatever fitness or health goals that you have or aesthetic physical goals that you have that you've been struggling with for years, please just be so kind to yourself and know that you are doing the best that you can and actually you're a lot more amazing than you're giving yourself credit to. Last year I launched a program and it was called The Better Program and it was all about working to be your best self and it was just so heartbreaking because some of my clients just just talking to them and if you're watching this I hope you guys are doing okay I hope you're doing well but so many people were just so hard on themselves for not doing certain things and I was like okay but this is amazing like for example somebody would be like oh I only lost like 0.5 pounds this week I was hoping to lose like two pounds and I was like please just be excited that you achieved something like please please just celebrate the small wins don't just focus on the negatives like focus on the positives or you know someone would be like oh I got up to work out today but like I didn't finish the workout because I just got so tired I was out of breath like it was too much I just gave up and I'm like I know the feeling of not following through with something, of giving up halfway through, but you showed up in the first place and that is amazing. And it might feel like you're struggling and you're not doing well enough, but the most important thing is that you're trying. And even when you're not trying, sometimes it's important just to take that time to actually recharge and refresh if you're finding something difficult. I feel like I've been really hard on myself because I kept expecting myself to be this person that I'm just not and that's another thing that can be really detrimental is just setting expectations for yourself that just that just aren't realistic in the way that they actually don't even make you happy so sometimes when you're struggling it's because you're forcing a path you're forcing something on yourself that isn't right with your spirit at all. The things that make me unique, the things that make me me, actually are the things that make me happier. So why am I putting so much pressure on myself and setting these expectations to be or do things that I never even really wanted to do? And like, I'm feeling so much happier within myself right now, just actually reassessing the expectations I have for myself and being like, okay, like what actually makes you happy and what do you actually wanna do? Like not what do you think would look good to other people? Like what would actually make you happy? So I really do encourage you guys to think about some of the goals you have set for yourself, some of the expectations or where you wanna be and be like, do, you, do I even want that? Like, is that even me? Would that even make me happy? Like, not really. But anyway, um, yeah, I was struggling. I'm not struggling as much now. I feel a lot better. And if you're going through something similar where you feel like you're struggling, please feel free to reach out to me. You can comment down below, message me on Instagram or anything like that. But more than anything, just know that it's okay. And if anyone gives you crap about it, just, tell them to love themselves because if they love themselves a little bit more and gave themselves a bit more grace then I think they'd have a bit more compassion and understanding for other people and what they're going through even if they perceive what other people are going through to be not the most difficult thing in the world um it can still be a lot but yeah I hope you enjoyed this little mini rant slash pep talk. I just wanted to get this out because it's kind of feelings that I had where I felt, I felt quite frustrated, especially sharing so much here and sometimes getting comments where people are a little bit like judgy about what you're struggling with. Like, why are you struggling with this still? Like, this should be so easy. It's like, you do know that we're humans. You do know we're human and it's all right to struggle, okay? Okay, anyway, 
let me know if you like this kind of video because I do sometimes get this urge to rant slash give a pep talk about something that I'm feeling and it's mostly for myself to be fair but I always want to give that energy to somebody else as well if they need to hear that message to you but anyway guys thank you so much for watching I hope you have the most amazing day and I'll see you back here on my channel very soon bye bye